let's cut to the chase, Ahmed. You're a very impressive person, and um, you're a but you're a plastic surgeon, and this is fascinating because I think you can see me pretty well, and you've had a good gander at me over the years. Um, were I to have some plastic surgery, I'm not saying I'm going to, but let's say I was going to have plastic surgery and you were going to do it for free. Oh. <laughs> These are all just what ifs. We're not saying anything, although I see you nodding, which is kind of a oral agreement. And keep in mind that this is for free, so you can give him the budget level work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you can Got it. <laughs> you can use Got plastic <laughs> plastic spoons to do the work and plastic wrap. Yeah, mm -hmm. no. Uh, but what did you suggest, or should I leave well enough alone? I've always heard comedians need to use their face and have a certain elasticity. So I've left this masterpiece alone. Oh, but what do you think? You called it a masterpiece. Well, I'm sorry. I was just well, borrowing a phrase Ahmed was about to use about me. I don't know if he mm. was. That's, that's, that's right. right. I think no, he's no, compiling was, a list I mean, of things he would do um, to you. Hieronymus Bosch. Uh, <laughs> going, <laughs> tell me, Ahmed, going what would you do? What would you do if yeah. I came in and I said, help me, Doc, help me. Help me with me, kisser. <laughs> Let's start with some of your speech first, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. yeah. Why, why yeah. am I talking like a 1930s guy from Brooklyn? Hey, there, Doc, help me with my kisser. <laughs> uh, you got to help well, uh, me. You got to help me fix me melon. Uh, <laughs> what would you tell me to do, Ahmed? Well, going back to your episode with the uh, David statue that you said you would change mm -hmm. to become you. So you are the standard of beauty. Thank you. So I don't think there's much to change because God, he's you good. have become Ahmed. the standard of beauty, right? I'm uh, the canon of beauty. Uh, yes, yes. But, 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 you know, in a theoretical world, yes, I did study some of your later videos, uh -huh. uh, your recent videos. Yes. I think, you know. Nature has been, <laughs> time has been cruel to me, Ahmed. <laughs> time has been cruel. You know, I think a blepharoplasty or a little eyelid, upper eyelid, you know, nip tuck would be good. What does that do? Some Botox in the forehead. So, you know, what we can do is come in and get some of the skin above in your uh, upper eyelid and we can trim some of that so it's not you know, um, skin in the upper eyelid. It, are you noticing? That's is there, right. Maybe everyone's. Yeah. Get in there close as everyone's starting to notice yeah. uh, <laughs> and, and doesn't have the guts to tell me. <laughs> Gorley, Asona, when I come in, do well, you see tons of folded skin on my upper eyelids? No, but if that's how you're going to end up looking after this procedure, I would say maybe don't. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, here's my yeah. concern. I'm going to stay employed. And what about you said Botox in the forehead area? Yeah. That's uh, that would treat those uh, righteds or wrinkles, those lines in the forehead. Mm -hmm. Basically, it paralyzes the muscle that we have in the forehead. But you can't and do then, that. But you see, that's the problem. See, like here's the problem we're getting into, Ahmed. Uh, I, I mean, let's be honest. As a comedian, no one ever hired me to be the best looking guy in the room or the youngest looking guy in the room. They hired me uh, for my ability to make them laugh, and I've always thought, well. If I start getting work done, isn't that going to freeze this very expressive visage that I have? It's your money maker. It's your bread and yeah. butter, and it's it looks yeah. good. Wait, Ahmed, can I, you I do something? I got another money maker. I'll tell you about oh, later. Can you do something about the eye vein? Oh, oh, oh! oh thank you, Sona. <laughs> that that I, I have a very prominent eye vein and the main vein. I know that. Okay, let's take about let's let's settle down there. Sorry. You always go to the cock lately, and I don't know what's going on I at home. Was that the cock? Talking about your I thought he was thinking about killing you. You yeah. you thought about the cock? What That's are you doing? All I think about <laughs> you. Do all I think about is the cock. You rascal. Uh, when Gorley's around, that's where my mind goes. I don't know why. <laughs> oh. But no, listen. That, I have am I Ahmed. Ahmed. I yes. have a. A prominent blue vein that runs under my right eye. And because my skin is, uh, to use a certain medical term, completely translucent, <laughs> I'm like the statue of the visible woman. Uh, I, you can see this vein all the time. And I, I was thinking, you know, in the past, I've thought, what if I got it removed, but it turns out it's feeding blood to my cerebral cortex? So, um, I've not meddled with it. What would you do about that eye vein? Well, I feel like that eye vein might be the area that controls making fun of Sona. Yes. No, so then we got to get that it out. out. We must oh, push that out. Yeah, you're right. We got to get it out. There goes no. my, that is my, so. that's my money maker. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. my money maker yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, so other than I'm, I'm not going to get Botox, uh, Ahmed, because okay. I, I fear it for that's my fair. profession. Um, yeah. my, 
my plan is to just let this this face melt in front of America slowly uh, <laughs> and and sort of as an education to everybody that this is what happens I like that uh, to a to a corpse when it's left in the sun how about <laughs> lip injections <laughs> what <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. lip and ass injections. Oh, oh, I want you know what I want to get. I want to look like Lisa Rinna. Oh, I want to look exactly. Yes, I like. I want to look like Lisa Rinna. I want to get those crazy lips. Yeah, Wax wouldn't that lips. be fantastic yeah. if I had yeah. those giant crazy? What would you do? Because uh, I have, I don't have much lip right now. Um, my mouth we is more of like a. a Fuck uh, fillers. <laughs> Let's get Lisa Rinna to do a transplant yeah, like yeah, you would a fillers. kidney. Yeah. She gives you her lips. Yeah, I want Lisa Rinna and I on on side by side operating tables, <laughs> yes. and I want her to say just before she goes under, "I do this for Conan." And then when she wakes up, her lips are gone, and uh, and I have Lisa Rinna's lips, and yeah. then I'm on. Uh, I'm one of the desperate housewives. Yeah. <laughs> So, so, somehow I think I would lose my license on that. Oh, oh that's another yeah. thing. I have no ass yeah. to speak of. I keep L coming up with more. Yeah. No, literally, Sona just keeps, she has a, look, she has a list like Santa's list. <laughs> yeah. It just goes and goes and goes. I have no butt. Um, and it's a curse. It's in my family. Uh, none of the men have any butt. So our pants just are always falling off. Mm. Um, and it's a straight drop from my shoulder right down to my heel. There's nothing there to interrupt the drop. A little tiny man could jump off my shoulder and he would fall straight down to commit suicide and he would hit right near my foot. And he would A carpenter's plumb. Yeah, oh no, I've, I've done it. I had carpenters come in once and they hung a carpenter's plumb and it went straight down. It doesn't sound like those were carpenters, by the way, but sure. No, oh, they, they yeah. weren't carpenters. And you know what, they gave me a massage and then they, they filmed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And now it's on Dutch television. I think you are the wrong people. Anyway, Ahmed, here's my question. Yeah. What could we do to yeah. fill that out? Because not only do I not have a butt, but I've described this before, it actually goes in a little bit. It's a little bit of a, a divot, and I you can keep little, I keep knickknacks in there. It's just a little, sh it's like a shelf. You have a little concave? It's, a, it's concave, it goes the other way. So is there something, uh, or, or do I have to go to Brazil yeah. for that? Where do you go to get your butt enhanced? Can it is, you do that? It is called a Brazilian butt lift. Um, really? So what a Brazilian butt lift, yeah, it, that's what it's called. And what, what that does is you take fat by liposuction mm -hmm. from other areas of the body and you can um, inject that into the buttocks uh, in the superficial areas that are right underneath the skin. You have to be very careful because if done uh, incorrectly, it can be very dangerous. It can lead to bad complications. Okay. But well, um, I've got the best in you, Ahmed, and you're going to be my, <laughs> I don't know if you're going to do this. Hey, Ahmed, could you take Lisa Rinna's lips and put them on my ass? Yes. And can you do this remotely where Sona and I will do the procedure, but you talk us through it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do it over Zoom. This is actually, this is actually something that I've been fantasizing about is Lisa Rinna's wait Lisa Rinna's no, no, Lisa Rinna's no, no, lips no, no, on my no, ass you heard it here what's your problem no, on you it? Heard it here you're waking up no. honey honey what is it that dream where Lisa Rinna's lips are on Conan's ass no wake no. up Ahmed wake I up snap to... out of it 